So in this video, we're going to talk about The Witcher 3 and if it's still worth playing in 2024. What a question. And let's see if I can answer the question. So, the first topic that I want to talk about is this beautiful open world. So, it really does look absolutely fantastic. And there's so many things to discover, like we're just discovering items to put together for alchemy. There's random monsters that will just appear. Combat is absolutely fun and awesome in this game. Combat is really fun and awesome in this game as well. And you'll find like random bits and pieces just laying around. First thing, the open world, yes. And it looks absolutely fantastic. Everything's super interactable as well, which I really like. So... Man, it's crazy, right? Crazy. Alright, I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, gosh. We just got absolutely mobbed by a pack of wild dogs. World building in this game is unbelievable. So, there's so many just random towns to discover and so many stories to discover in these towns as well. So let's have a look, let's delve in. I just defeated this wraith thing in a well and that story was super interesting as well and really open. On the map, we can see a lot. So, you got this massive map. And it just is forever expanding, right? So, that's one cool thing. And this is our main quest to follow. And we've got all of these hidden markers around the world. And it just keeps going. And we've got this world map as well. And so much to uncover there as well. You know, so it just, it's huge, and it keeps going and forever expanding. Got all of these side quest content to uncover. There's like something like 200 hours of content in this game, which I really like. Now, why would you pick up this game in 2024 and start playing it? That's a fantastic question. So, I think the reason why is this game is not only really fun, but forever lasting. The reason why is... You can play it a thousand different ways every single time that you play it. You know, you've got so many options with the dialogue that it changes the way you play every single time. So many different ways to play, so many ways to mess with the game, and the open world is so open that you're just consistently uncovering brand new things all the time. Let's see the combat, let's go. Oh. That's my favorite thing about the combat in this game. It's just those random things. Alright, we got another bandit. Let's go. The combat in this game is absolutely fantastic. In terms of the leveling up system, it's pretty cool as well. So, basically, you have this character icon where you can level up your character in multiple different ways in terms of magic as well alchemy, general stuff combat, you know, you can level up your character in so many different ways alright so we're gonna smash shit some knackers whatever these things are So I got three on me at once, bro. It's just, just nuts. This game does not take it easy on you. Ah, oh, dude. Like I said, the game does not take it easy on you. There's a lot to uncover and a lot to learn with the with the combat and everything. And you got all these like random signs that we could use. So let's have some fun with some of these signs. There we go, okay. So there we go, we got some pretty powerful signs there. 
There we go. So these guys are a lot easier, but... There we go. So like I said before, like the world building is absolutely fantastic. The world is absolutely beautiful. At first, it takes a minute to get used to and everything with the world and how it all works, but generally it takes a minute, but you get Step used to it after time. Chapter so let's talk to this character. Do not cast him out. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. So you got all of these options. So we've got the yellow dialogue and the white dialogue. White dialogue tells you more about the stories. Yellow all right, will I'll take, take you through this will to the next stage. Mates. The more good one works in life. And you have all the choices the available, so you can play yes. however Splendid. you like, really. It's cool. Holy oils. Dash generously and set a light, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Right, so now we've just found a brand new quest, so then you can track your quest. Let's have a look, so... It says find and burn the bodies in the pits of the battlefield, so let's see if we can follow the quest. A lot of the time as well, like, I've had things where I've, like, killed something, and then the world interacts with it and completes, like, a story from, like, a while ago that I didn't even realize, like, I was completing, you know? So, it's completely interactive in different ways. It's really awesome. Like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Damn it. Nice. I love these heavy attacks in this game, like, they're the most fun. No, Alright, so it me. says... Burn these, so we're gonna use that Igni sign. Win. There we go. So now we keep going and try and complete the quest. Like I've said before, like, there's probably about 200 hours worth of gameplay in this. That's just if you actually, like, play it right the first time there. If you struggle with a quest or something, you're probably doing that for, like, another couple of hours, so it adds up, you know? But, yeah, definitely still worth a play in 2024, that's for sure. Just for the expanding world and the gameplay experience, I definitely think it's still worth it. And... It's a really popular franchise. I actually watched the Netflix series before even playing this, playing in this game. And I actually picked up this game pre-owned recently. Like, only a couple of weeks ago. And I played it for the very first time ever. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And it's been really popular on the channel. So it still shows that people are still wanting, like, Witcher 3 stuff on the channel. Ooh, random bear, okay. It's fun. Alright, let's do... Axie. So you can control like the minds of like the characters, right? Nice. Took down a bear. Not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, so that's pretty fun. And we've got like random creatures that I've never seen before in this game. A lot of originality too. It's rewarding when you actually complete quest and 
take down some of these monsters and stuff that you've never seen before, so... Alright, who's next? Oh, let's go! This time I'm gonna use the, yeah, the Igni sign. Shit, one's still alive. What now, you piece of milk? Oh, nice, cool, very good. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm there's bad language in this game, though. A priest. It's one funny thing. As usual, just a larger delivery. Good There's some characters in the game then as well that are very funny. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat state pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times. Everything perfect, but the fourth his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shut me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. Interesting. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Interesting. So we've just uncovered a brand new thing in the quest. Guys, that's it. That's done. And it'll give us choices. Probably like, what do we do next? Which is going to be a lot of fun. Let's have a look. Ooh, I'm hearing some monster sounds. So let's let's interact. Oh yeah, that's, that's these things. Are next level. Go. I'm watching you. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Sure have. So then, yeah, we've got. Why do you priests so many take options in the available so to late? us? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relief to hear it. It's like a dodgy what preacher would the thing. Have done without you. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive, and pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fist tech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you, for all time, exclusively. So now I've probably got a choice. So I can choose whether I want to take the bribes, or I can choose if I agreed or not. So I want to say I don't take bribes. You can hire should be me, interesting. but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Well, then it will be cheapest to kill you. Ooh, Three there we go. One. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him! Not too late to surrender. Nice. Nice. All right. And that's pretty much it. That's the end of that one. So you choose to keep going or we could just end it there. And it's a lot of fun, like having this open sort of ended gameplay of like whatever you like, you know?
Interest you in a pass. Cheapest around. Right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. Oh, okay. But you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. Interesting. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? So you could pay the fine? Or see if we can go any lower. But I can't afford it. No deal. So whoa, 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 whoa. see if I can go any lower. Might have a little work for you. Reduce okay. the price for a job well done. What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads. So then this will start a new quest, which is quite fun. Problem is, and just keep going like this for like the whole game is them, great. You know, in monsters drawing Love it. corpses. Give him some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. All right, see what I can do. There we go, a brand new start to a brand new quest. Combat is so fun in this game, though. Well worth it. What is it? Got work for you, because you look to me eyes like a witcher. Am I right? What do you need? Need from the men to finish their work unharmed. But I love how there's just random quests that just come out out of nowhere. It's just it's fun. It's really fun. Deal. You play as you like. And this is probably barely even touching the surface of like what to do with the game as well, so that's why it's so much fun. Main quest has been a lot of fun too. I played a lot of it on my channel, which you can check out already. Game looks beautiful, a lot of fun. Combat is pretty awesome, pretty cool.